fellow students. Good morning, one and all. Thanks for joining in our today's session. Today will be the day two of our spoken English batch 311. I hope you all have enjoyed our yesterday's session as I have given the in detail information regarding what is spoken English, how it's different uh, from written English, and I have already to use effective ways of learning English. And we also discussed what we're going to learn in our upcoming classes. All right. So those who have joined today, yesterday they are not able to join the class. So for them, I'm going to share the recordings, a recording of yesterday. Please go through it. And if you have any queries related to our yesterday's course, you all are welcome, guys, to ask the questions, as many as questions you want. I will be very glad to help you out in your queries and to, so and to solve them. Here. So I have given, in the chat box, I have already given. And those who have not joined our WhatsApp group yet, yesterday I have given them the link. But if you did not join that, please make sure to join the announcement. Only to join the group, guys. If you are telling, like, ma'am, request is pending, you need to join that because nothing is there in the group. Only join the announcement. That's more than enough for you all to get the updates regarding our course that is spoken English Bad 311. See So, in our today's class, we're going to start with a very basic thing, guys. All right. So, as I told you yesterday only, that first part will be the grammar, right? So today will be the first day of that grammar part. So let's start. If you have any queries, guys, make sure to raise your hand so that I can know, okay, I have to unmute my student and I have to listen to that. Clear. So, uh, so before we start, there will be some basic concepts to learn in uh, basic concepts to learn any language. Same as English also a language, right? Same as our native language is there, that is Hindi, Urdu, or Telugu, Marathi, Tamil. These are our native languages, okay? Native language is also nothing but the guys, mother tongue. Why it will fall as a mother tongue? Because we're going to learn that language from our mother. So whenever you are learning any kind of language, you must know how to start. Basics you must know. If you are uh, if you are talking about your mother tongue uh, mother tongue language, you will you have to know the basics of that. So what will be the basics of that mean? In Hindi or Urdu, come, go, sit, stand. These are the basics. So same guys, when you are learning an English language also, there will be a basic of that language. So that uh, here is the question for all of my students, all right? How many alphabets are there in English language? Uh, alphabet A to Z, uh, that is not pronounced as Z by pronunciation changed to Z, as I told you yesterday also. That English is a changing language. It will change based on the uh, society changes. Okay. And we have to adapt it. So previously, that will be pronounced as Z. But nowadays, it's pronounced as Z. Z for zebra. All right. So give me the answer for the question. I am asking you all. How many alphabets are there in English? This is a very basic uh, question that kindergarten students can also ask. 25, 26, 26, 26. Okay. So most of the students have given 26 will be the answer. Yeah. Okay. Like not only you, if you'll ask the common persons as well, they'll say the same thing. That is ma'am, 26 is the answer. 
but 26 is not the correct answer, guys. Why? Because alphabet is only one in English, but letters are 26. How it's possible, ma'am? For example, guys, girls is it G I R L S girls, or else boys are the B O Y S boys. What is this? This is the title we have given. Okay, boy, girl, male, female. But if we will count how many, how much population female or male population is there in India, we will get the numbers of population, right? So same here, guys. Alphabet actually it is the name. Okay, we have given to the letters, the letters which is there in English language. All right. So alphabet will be only one. Letters will be 26, that is from A to Z. Now, this 26 letters are consist of vowels and consonants. Vowels, we're going to see further what are vowels, how we can pronounce it, and how we can know that these are vowels or not. Same goes with the consonants as well. Okay. So, this is the answer, like 26 is the letters, alphabet is what? For example, if I say boys in my class, since I'm giving a title, okay, but if I'm going to pronounce their names, there are many here in the class, Rakesh, Ramesh, Aditya, Suresh, okay, uh, Abhinav, that these are the names of this uh, boys. But if I'm telling it, giving it as a title as B O Y S boys. Yep. Now these are the English alphabet guys. Okay, here you have to practice your pronunciation. Now, how to practice it, ma'am? For example, guys, few of the students they will going to pronounce it as Yal Yam Yan Yu. Okay. Because from the childhood, the teachers, maybe due to the teachers, they see it in this manner only. Okay. And they did not focus like, okay, uh, pronunciation doesn't matter. They did not focus. But when it comes to the English language, guys, pronunciation matters the most. Okay. There will be some hard words which you cannot pronounce it. So how can other person will understand what you are trying to say? So that is the way, guys, pronunciation in English language is very important. So how you can pronounce it means just repeat after me. Okay, that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, P, Q, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, this is how you have to do the pronunciation. So, if your pronunciation are good, the way I pronounce the letters, same if you pronounce, then 10 by 10 is your score, guys. And those who have don't know how to do the pronunciation, no issues. Today, you got to know how to pronounce it. From today, you can uh, pronounce the way I pronounced it, right? Now, let's move further. These are the few words, guys, that we will use in our day-to-day conversation. Like, I, me, you, there, how, who, when, where, will, they, is, in, cup. These are the mostly used words in our sentences. Okay. Let's look at this. Like, give me some water. Give me some water. These are the words which we will use in our day-to-day -day conversation. Clear? Now, let's move further. Okay. Now, the vowels. I told you within 26 letters, there will be five vowels and others are constant guys, actually. So, what are vowels? Okay. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. When I will say vowels, Vowels is not depend on the number, not depend on the letters, guys. If you will say, if you will see A in your, like, in a sentence, you cannot say, like, it's a vowel, but it is 
the vowel sound is the vowel is based on the sound guys how the sound of the vowel will be there so what is vowel in your mother tongue like it's telugu or it's hindi the vowels are guys are to aha in hindi as well as in telugu also are to aha is uh, is known as the vowels of that language now why we are telling a e i o u are the vowels because most of our words will consist of this five letters all right like many of this words can consist of that okay that is nothing but vowels right now why vowels called as vowels why it is not called as other so why it is called this guys when you will pronounce the word a e i o u you you will find a vibration in your vocal cords now what is vibration map this keep your fingers two fingers on your throat and spell a e i o u you will find out these letters are directly coming from your vocal point and there is a vibration uh, and push of air from your vocal cords that is why it is known as the vowels guys okay and without vowels there will be no formation of words it will form guys but most of the words will always be formed with the vowels clear and when it comes to the vowels guys make sure you should not focus on the letter but you must focus on the uh, voice that is coming from that letter sound we can see so if you want to pronounce it you can see how you have to uh, you have to do it right o means our uh, our lips are making a circle that is nothing but o e i u teeth are uh, joining together now comes the a uh, or as u u sound okay so we are opening our mouth like this the vowel circle will be there if you want to practice you can practice a uh, or as u means we are opening our mouth when it comes to the e or i I am just uh, showing my teeth. My teeth are not joining, but they are making some sound. Or, uh, some sound that is related to the I. Oh, round it is because my lips are becoming round and forming a voice that is O. Oh. Here, now there will be two vowel sound guys. That is long vowel sound and short vowel. Now, what is long vowel sound now? What is short vowel? It's very simple to understand, right? Okay, short vowel sounds are nothing but okay. We are using like uh, when we are pronouncing that let that word, it is quickly coming from our mouth. Okay, it's quickly coming from our mouth. Okay, so that is nothing but our short vowel sound. Okay, that is apple, cat, like this. I'm telling. Where it comes to the long vowel sound. Where it comes to the long vowel sound, guys, it is taking some time to pronounce. Like cake, cake, peak. Okay, we have to stress on that. That is nothing but the difference between the short sound and long sound. Here, so here are the examples, guys, related to the short sound and long sound. See, these are the short words using a, e, i, o, u. So if you will see here, okay, o is there, b is there, but we are focusing on the sound guys just have a look for a one minute and try to pronounce it by your own and if you have any queries let me know clear just have a look yeah 
bad. We are just pronouncing it as soon as bad, cat, bed, bit, bin, boss, boss. Okay, but cut these are the short vowel sound words. Now long sound words. Baby, b -b, like this. I'm stressing on my uh, vocal cord. Okay, shaky, paper, play, day, spray, a a sound. Okay, these are the these are the sounds related to the long vowel sound. Clear. Now that's related to the vowel, guys. Okay, now comes to the consonants. Apart from that five vowels, guys, other letters in English language will be considered as the consonant. Yes, that is 21s are consonant. So if you focus on the picture here, which I have used, what is the one letter which is missing? Speak and let me know. What is the one letter uh, which is missing? And if do you have any idea why it's missing? Which letter is missing, guys? Please be active in the class. I know it's morning. It will be a little bit like sleepy mode. But you have to be active, guys, as we all are gathered here to learn, right? Please be active and answer. Why, why, why? Okay, correct. So, answer is correct, guys. Why is missing? Now, why, why is missing here? So, sometimes, why will also be considered as the vowel as well as uh, as the consonant. Now, why will be why considered as a vowel? If you will pronounce some words, you can find the v sound, why sound in that. So, that is why, guys. Y is also nothing but the vowel. Clear? That is why ma Y is missing from there. Now, let's move forward. So these are the uh, consonants, guys. If you want to practice the consonants, guys, just keep your fingers on your throat and pronounce the letters given on your screen. So, you will not feel any kind of vibration or any kind of thing that is directly coming from your vocal point. That is why it is called as the consonant, which means it will not come directly from the vocal point, but it is a, it is a kind of sound we are making, like B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N. P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, and Z. These are the these are the constants. So in the consonants also, guys, there will be like uh, in the consonant there will be no sound like long consonants and short consonants because the, there is no sound related to the consonant. But it's uh, but there will be a sound related to the vowels. Clear. So this is how we're going to differentiate between the vowels and consonants now if you have any queries guys you all are uh, welcome to ask your queries or any suggestions you want to give that is also welcome so i'm giving you a one minute of time to recall what we have done till now and if you have any queries please let me know No, ma'am. No. Okay. If it's no, that's very good. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So it's better, guys, if instead of giving the answers in the uh, in the host uh, host and pa panelists, you can also give the answer to everyone. Okay. So that every uh, students can also see your answers. Here. Now comes to the deptones and blends. Now, what is deptones and blends? Have you ever heard the words deptones and blends, guys? Give the confirmation so that only I can explain you. If yes, say yes. If no, say no, guys. What is that, guys? Do you uh, do you ever hear the word deptones and blends in your school days or when you are teaching your kids? Any time or when you're teaching your cousins, when you're teaching your niece or any other person, have you heard these two words? 
Stepstones and blends. Yes or no? Please give the confirmation. If you all will be this much wise, guys, how I can know that um you all are understanding or not or whatever I'm explaining. So please be active. No, 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 no. Okay, five answers as no. Okay, so let me explain you guys. Diptons and blends are very easy to understand. Guys. Now, diptons are nothing but guys, some words will be there. Okay, in that more than two vowels will be there. If you see on the screen, put F double O. O is the vowel. Okay, one vowel means, okay, we can understand. But here, two vowels are there. Okay, so instead of giving two vowel sound, we will make only one vowel sound. Now, what is this man? Two vowel sound and one vowel sound. We'll see. Put the anthony. Put O. Only one time O sound is coming. Okay, that is nothing but about diphthong. I'm not telling for for uh, uh, D. Two times I'm not uh, using, I'm not making sound of vowel. For uh, uh, D. No, I'm not doing like this. Only one time I'm making the sound. That is nothing but our diphthong. That is put root cool. Same as goes with the blend, guys. As diphthongs is related to the consonants, uh, sorry, diphthongs are related to the vowels. Blends are related to the consonants, right? So, in the like, uh, whenever you are forming a word, there will be more than two, more than three consonants will be there in a word. Okay. So, instead of making uh, every like, single single sound of every letter, we are just telling block, bleach. Okay. I'm not saying b, l, o, s, k. I'm not pronouncing it like this. But I'm blending it. Blending is nothing but mixing it. Mixing it, guys. And I'm pronouncing it as a one word. That is nothing but clock, slide, clock, like this. This is the difference between the diphthongs and blends. Diphthongs means if there are two vowels in a one word, we are only making a sound of a one, one vowel. Same goes with the blends. If there will be more than two consonants in the word, we are going to make only one sound of the consonant. Okay. So, that was the difference. Now, consonants, uh, digraphs, words, list. Just go through it, guys. Like, how the words, how the sounds of the consonants will be there. This is the chart. Just pronounce it. And if any query, you can let me know. I'm giving you a one minute of time to pronounce this all by your own. Come on, do the, do it, and once it's done, please let me know. I've started the timer, guys. Once it's done, you can let me know. I'm also going to pronounce. Tap, chance, tap, chum, chick, chest, chest, chill, chip, chop, chunk. Ch, ch sound, guys, right? C, ch, ch. Now, sh sound will come. S, and sh. Shed, shell, shell, ship, shing, shock, shot, shot. Now, the th sound will come, there, guys. C, h, th. Thing, thumb, thumb, thang, thing, thurs, thunder, thorn, through, thud, th sound. Now, wa sound will come, my friends. Uh, okay. What, what, when, which, which, whip, whack, whip, why, what, when, where, whisk. Now, per sound, guys. Face, phone, photo, phonics, phrase, physical draft. Well, per sound, right. Now, no sound will come, guys. NG, no. Sang, Sing, song, crank, hang, dung, thing, tongue, nothing, nut. Okay. Nut, the sound, sound was there. Okay. So, this is how the sounds will come in related to the constant. Okay. If you have any queries, you can ask me, guys. So, uppercase and lowercase. Uppercase are nothing but the guys. Capital letters. Lowercase are nothing but the guys. Uh, 
small letters. Okay. Can anyone tell me where we can just find this uppercase and lowercase? In a document, it will be framed, guys. Fill in uppercase, fill in lowercase. Mostly whenever we are going for our official documents, guys, related to some bank work or related to some sort of official work, guys, we will going to see this thing. Only to be filled where, only to be filled in uppercase, only to be filled in lowercase. So at that time, our brain will be stuck. Like what is lowercase? What is uppercase? Okay, so in that case, guys, you must remember lowercase are nothing but our small letters and uppercase are nothing but our capital letter. Okay, but whenever you are starting some sort of uh, sentence, guys, or some sort of word, first word, first letter of that word must be capital. For example, your name. Okay, for example, my name is there, Aisha. So this is the first time, this is the first uh, word in a sentence. So what I am, how and uh, how I am going to write it, I am going to write first letter A in a capital and after that I am going to write other letters in uh, small. Okay. That is how I am going to do it. Clear. Yeah. So whenever you are starting uh, some word, writing some word in the starting of the sentence, right? Make sure you should write it in a such a way that uh, first letter must be capital. This is related to the, this information is related to the return skill, guys. That is writing skill. Whereas it comes to the speaking, guys, we will not say first letter capital, then Aisha, no. The person will understand by their own. Now, another thing, how the words will form, of how the sentence will form, or how the paragraphs will form. So, how it's forming, guys? Letters will form a word, guys. Here. Now, word letters, how the letters will form a word, now. Now, I am going to use the chat box here. S. Okay. E N B L I S H. Okay, these are the separate letters, right? There are seven letters. Now, how the letters, so these letters will combine together and will make a word. That is nothing but English. Clear. Now, words will form a sentence. Now, words will form a sentence. English is one word is a global. Okay. These are the five words. English is a separate, is a global language. So, these are the five separate words. So, what they will going to do means they will combine together. Okay. Combination of words is nothing but the sentence, guys. Okay, like this. English is a global language. Now, sentences will form a paragraph. Sentences will form a paragraph means same sentence will going to take here. English is a global language. Okay. What we can add that is the reason everyone wants to learn it. Plus, and these, uh, these are the two sentences. Okay, now I'm going to club these two sentences. See, this is how the paragraph will. So, make sure, guys, you can you have to keep these three things in your mind. Letters will form a word, words will form a sentence, and sentence will form a uh, paragraph. Now, why I am telling for you to keep it in your mind? 
because in our upcoming sessions, guys, I'm going to ask you a form a verb or else form a sentence means you should be in a position to form it. That is the reason I told you as I told you also. Remember this. Now, in a sentence, guys, before going to the types of sentence in our upcoming class, one thing I have, I want to tell you very clearly. Okay, there will be two things, guys, here. That is phrase and clause. P H R A S E phrase P L A U S E clause. Clear. Now what is phrase and clause? Any idea? Any idea regarding what is phrase and clause, guys? Yes or no? Give the confirmation, please. If you know, yes. If you don't know, just say no so that I can explain you. Yes or no, guys? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, two confirmations in the chat box. Okay. So let me explain you guys what is phrase and clause. Welcome guys, those who are joining late. Welcome to the session. I hope from tomorrow you will join earlier. So that whatever the things you will not understand, you can ask. Okay. So uh, what is phrase and clause we are discussing? Phrases and clauses. A phrase guys, okay. Uh, a phrase is a word. Okay, what is phrase is nothing but guys, a group of words, guys, that will not have any subject, that will not have any verb. What is this, ma'am, that is not that will not have any verb and any sentence? Okay, now what is this, ma'am, that is not have any sentence or any verb? See, guys, this Ram, okay, Ram is the name of a person. In a sentence, when we are adding the name of a person, okay, that is nothing but our subject, guys. S-U-B-J-E-C, subject, okay. Now, I-S is, uh, okay, G-W-D, good, G-U-Y, guys. This is the answer, okay, this is the sentence. Now, when it comes to the formation of a sentence, it must include three things in that sense. What are the three things it, it, it includes? So let me make you clear. Whenever you are forming a, a sentence, guys, it must have subject, verb, and object. Okay. So, subject is nothing but the guys... Uh, whom we are talking about. Talk. So mostly we'll talk related to the person whom we are talking about. Here, whom we are talking about means names will come. Okay, names will come here. Sayyad, names for example, or else Ram. Okay. Lakshmi, these are the names we will uh, come under a subject. Now, verbs. Verbs are nothing but, guys, the sort of action. Action. Uh, action, the verb, the subject is doing. Okay, the action which a subject is doing. Now, what are the actions the subject will do? Okay, that is listening. For example, you all are the subject. What you are doing, what action you are doing, you are listening and I am speaking. Okay, this is nothing but our work. Now comes to the object, guys. Okay, where this subject uh, is doing his active, he is or her active. Uh, where the subject is doing the activity. You know, activity, that is nothing but our object. Okay, now if I want to combine this and want to make a sentence, how I am going to do it? Okay, so I'm going to do it in this way. Rakesh is 
sleeping. Okay, Rakesh is sleeping on his bed. Rakesh here is our subject, guys. Sleeping. What kind of action is doing means he is sleeping. Okay, this is our verb. Now, where he is sleeping means object. That is nothing but B-E-D, bed. Okay. Again, in the verb, guys, there will be two types of verbs will be there. Okay, two types. That is physical, physical and mental. And mental sense. Physical and mental. Now, physical is nothing but guys doing the action using the all the body parts. Like, uh, uh, like how dancing. Dancing means we'll use our body parts, right? For the singing, again, we'll use our mouth. Here. Again, for another thing, for example, walking, talking, our body. Uh, our body part, that is that physical work, physical action, mental action. In the mental action, guys, here we are choosing our mental activity, choosing our brain. So, when we use our brain, guys, like when we use study, okay, when we study, we use our brain. Thinking again, we use our brain. Here. How are you going to differentiate between the physical action and mental action? Okay. I hope you understand that between the mental action and physical action. Now this is related to how the sentence will be formed. Now come back to the phrase and clause, guys. Okay. So phrase are the group of word verb guys, group of words. Okay, phrase, group of words, guys, which will not have subject, no subject, but without subject, how we can form a word, uh, sentence? Because subject and predicate is very important. Predicate is also nothing but the verb, guys. Okay, so how we can form a sentence means like some sentences will be there. Like, for example, the man at the gate. Okay, the man at the gate or else the door, the window. What is this? There is no subject, but uh, we are forming a sentence. So that kind of sentences are nothing but the guys. Phrase. Okay, now comes to the clause. C-L-A-U-S-E-S -E -S clauses. Clauses are nothing but our complete sentence, guys, which will have subject in that, which will have verb in that, which will have object in that. Okay. A, uh, a sentence must be formed, guys, in such a way that it should give you the full information. Okay. For example, full information here. Okay. So, full information here is, uh, for example, I am telling like, I am going. This is not my full uh, sentence. I am going. So the question may arise. Where she is going? When she will going to come back? Okay. This is the questions arising. But if I want to give you the full information in a form of a sentence, I'll be like telling you, I am going to the market. Now, this kind of sentences are nothing but the guys. Full informatic sentence. Whenever you are forming a sentence, make sure it should be formed in such a way that it should be not confused to the people you are doing the conversation with. Clear? That is how the uh, sentence formation will going to be worked, guys. Now, come back to the session. What we are discussing? We are discussing the sub. Uh, we are discussing how the uh, words will form sentence and how the sentences will form the uh, paragraph. Okay, this is the example related to that. Please, guys, what I explained just now related to the formation of sentence, 
related to the phrase and verb, make sure you keep it in your mind or else you can write it in your note. Why? Because means in the upcoming session, there will be like phrases and clauses and formation of a sentence. You have to form a sentence by your own. So I don't want my students to do any sort of mistake. Yeah, I am not saying that you cannot do the mistake. You can do the mistake, guys. It's not like particular you should not do, but you have to keep it in your mind. Like, okay, this is how the formation of words, uh, formation of sentence will be this. Okay, that's very important. Example, three sentences is making a paragraph, guys. Okay, there are 15 words and 42 letters to form this sentence. Ram, uh, good. Ram is a good guy. He is my best friend. I like him a lot. So this sentence is a combination of 15 words and 42 letters. So these are the daily use sentences, guys, that we will use in our day-to-day -day conversation. Okay, so that you can you can also use it. Okay, so if you see on our screen, you can see that these are the daily sentences you will use when you are doing the conversation with the other person. Okay, what I'll do, uh, what, uh, what the sentence I uh, found when we are joining the session. Good morning, students. How are you all? Welcome back. These are the daily use of sentence. When you are meeting your colleague, it's like, hi, buddy, how are you? Or else if, it, if there will be a, some task given to you by your boss, you will be like, I did not understand, sir. What do you mean? Where are you going? Please say again. Please help me. Okay, these are the daily use sentences. Give it a look on the screen. And here. How are you? I don't know. Call me back. Thanks a lot. Okay, these are the common sentences which we will use in our day-to-day -day conversation. By this, our today's topic is completed. Here, yeah, so I have given uh, permission to my each and every student. If they have any doubts or uh, in related to our spoken English bad guys, yeah, they can ask me right now. Okay, our classes will be from Monday to Friday, daily one hour from 6 to 7. Payment link I have already given in the chat box. Three days recordings will be provided for you all as a demo class on the YouTube channel. If you want the notes related to our course, you have to do the payment. Okay. And I have given the payment link and WhatsApp joining link as well, guys. Those who have not joined, please join it. Okay. And whatever the related to our course updates will be there in the, uh, there. You will get it. Clear? Any doubt? Now you can ask me now, please. Done? Shall we end the session then? If there is no doubt, don't be hesitate, guys. Come up with your fear, do the conversation with the trainer. It's a good opportunity for you all to learn something from the time you are spending. If you all are thinking like the amount is really high, ma'am, uh, hi, ma'am. We want the concession. Means there will be no concession, guys. Because if you compare the prices of lodge class with the other, our prices are already low. I hope you will understand. It's not about the price, guys. It's about how a person, how a trainer is fluent in their job and how they will going to help you to achieve your future goals. Make sure to think in this manner and the recordings and the notes, you will get a lifetime access. You can just see uh, it whenever you need to go for a revision. So this is all I want to tell at the end of the session. And humble request from your trainer to unmute yourself and do the conversation as much as possible. This is only the one-time opportunity, guys. Later. 
may or may not you know uh, get the opportunity i don't know okay so that's it in our today's class i hope you all are satisfied with my class whatever i have explained thank you for joining guys let's meet tomorrow that is that will be our day 3 session related to the sentences and pronunciation so i'll meet you all tomorrow at 6 am ist thanks for joining thanks for your cooperation thanks for believing in me that i am going to help you out to to learn english or to speak english in a fluent manner thank you everyone have a nice day take care of yourself and good night because we're not going to meet in the evening so bye bye take care of yourself and that's it guys have a nice day bye bye aditya and others take care of yourself guys bye